Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blow Daz. I'm Gainer. Office Blow Gainer. Here we are, all three of us together. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Special time, Father of the Year, Al Bundy. Yes. Love not Al you. Bundy. Love Al Bundy. He's uh, not done him for a while, did we? No, we did a few, like, a few months back. No. Is it called Bundy's Al Bundy or Married with Children? It's called Married with Children. And yeah. he's just the character's called Al Bundy. Yeah, yeah he's the dad. Mm. Legend. Yeah. Legend. Yeah. Should we get straight into it? Yeah. Father of the Year, Al Bundy, Married with Children. Oh, Al, were you watching Shane again? <laughs> nah. Phone company commercial. <laughs> I had this father and his kid. They were walking down this country road or alley or something, and they were kicking this rock or pine cone or something. And then the father was old, and the kid was grown up, and he called him. Oh, man. You know, Peg, I wish Bud lived far away so I could call him. <laughs> <laughs> How many beers did you have tonight, Al? I don't know. Kids grow up so fast. You know, sometimes I don't think we spend enough time with ours. You know, have dinner with them, touch them, kick things. I miss that. Bud? Bud, come down here. What'd I do, Dad? Nothing. It's uh, just that I don't get to talk to you too much anymore. How's the fourth grade? Fifth grade, Dad. <laughs> How about that, Peck? Bud, uh, where are you going tonight? I'm going down the block to Joey's house and watch TV. That's fine. Oh, uh, Bud. Yeah, Dad. Uh, if you're going to be late, call. <laughs> <laughs> it's a moment he'll always remember. <laughs> I'm worried about Daddy. Shh. Mom, even if the mouse is stupid enough to stick his head out for the cheese. Won't Dad smash his hand with the hammer? <laughs> yes, Bud, he will. But, you know, everyone who watches Roadrunner cartoons knows the coyote is going over the cliff, but you watch it and laugh anyway. <laughs> uh -huh. ah. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to talk to Kelly. Tell her what she did was wrong, and she disgraced the entire family. Which is not an easy thing to do. <laughs> I'll handle it, Peg. Hi, Daddy. Kelly, sit down here a minute. Kelly, I want to talk to you about what happened this afternoon. Good girl. <laughs> Would you care to hear about that fresh... He's still like, he, when you see him like playing, um, what's his name in Modern Family? Jay. Jay. Yeah. When you still see him playing Jay, you still see the Bundyisms coming out of him when yeah. he talks, doesn't he? Yeah. Like the facial expressions yeah. he pulls. Yeah. Don't know, how long ago was this? Must have been... The 80s. Well, I mean, it is the same guy. Yeah, I know. So you're going to expect that. Yeah, I know that, but it's 40 years on, 30 yeah. years on sort of yeah. thing, isn't it? Yeah. Look about the 80s. Yeah, funny guy, though. Uh, yeah, maybe after dinner. <laughs> Right now, give us four steaks. Nuke them. Very good. Potato? Well, how much is a potato? Well, it comes with the meal. Potatoes for everybody. <laughs> vegetables? Oh, we don't eat vegetables. Of course. Hey, kids. You wanted to see a band. We wanted a meal. Voila. Yeah, Dad, they're the coolest. <laughs> I seem to recognize Moon River, one of my personal favorites. <laughs> Al, you want to dance? You wouldn't mind, Peg? Of course not. I'd love it. <laughs> Would you like to dance? <laughs> dance with me, you moron. <laughs> Look at him, Kel. 
older Rama. You are a soulless troll. I think it's romantic that two dinosaurs like mom and dad still care about each other in advance. I mean, look at them. You can see how much they really love each other. Couldn't you even wear deodorant, you pig? <laughs> quite enough hairspray tonight, Peg. I can still smell your breath. <laughs> <laughs> now, Kelly, we're going to be spending a whole week together. Now, you might hear a yippee or a yow from me. That doesn't mean I don't miss your mama. Just like the changing of the locks don't mean I don't want her back. <laughs> Just adults uh, express their sadness in different ways. And I express mine by doing the bump. <laughs> <laughs> Life is good to me. To us. <laughs> I meant two beers for you and none for me. <laughs> Daddy, you know, we're going to have a week to ourselves, and I thought that it would be a good idea if we did something together. You know, we never have. Well, sure we did. <laughs> well, the day you were born, I carried you from the hospital. <laughs> and uh, ten years later, we had ice cream. And uh, now, here we are. <laughs> okay. Well, how about if we just talk? Great. So, uh, how's school? I'm out of school, Daddy. <laughs> Good. Good. Uh, so, uh, how old are you? <laughs> Going by the number of birthday parties that you've thrown for me, I'm three. <laughs> God, how the years go by. You don't know much about me, do you? Well, I do know that I carried you from the hospital the day you were born. I remember because I accidentally left you on the top of the car. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to drive away when I heard this sad little voice say, Stop, you're forgetting me. <laughs> so I got out, let your mother in, and there you were. <laughs> Daddy, I've never felt so close to you. So this week, let's make sure that we never see each other, okay? I think that would bring us even closer together. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next week. Bye, Dad. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of not too dissimilar to Modern Family, isn't it? Yeah, I know. When you think about it. Yeah, it's got the so same, like the same sort of like, uh, same joke sort of like yeah. style, the same sort of like situation. Yeah, they just make out as though we hate each other, whereas married, uh, Modern, Modern Family, family they yeah. all love each other. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Uh, I'm sorry Kelly didn't introduce us, uh, but before you go to the room, let me uh, introduce you to the rest of the house. This is the end of the banister. Meet my wall. What's that, Jake? You say, how do you get out? Well, how about the door? No, please don't. Oh, don't worry. <sighs> <laughs> Stranger. <laughs> Gee, bud, judging by where he landed, I'd say I'm about eight, ten inches from my record toss at 20 feet. <laughs> I believe that was, uh, uh, Larry. Hey, I got a brother named Larry. <laughs> <laughs> If I told you punks once, I told you a thousand times, keep your hands off my daughter. That's buddies, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know I mean? <laughs> oh, I love it when they come back for more. <laughs> oh, hi, son. <laughs> Turn on the lights. What for? Turn on the lights! <laughs> Does that look like Kelly to you? <laughs> Does it? <laughs> <laughs> you mean that was you over there bundifying that girl? <laughs> <laughs> bundifying. <laughs> Come on over 
<laughs> Just shows how different it is, doesn't it? <laughs> sit back down here. Put your little arm around her there. Hey, 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 get down here. You gotta sit. <laughs> I gotta go. Call me when you get the tickets. And remember, the closer I get to ice, the closer you get to the heat. <laughs> <laughs> The camera. What is it, Al? What is it? Are Marcy and Jefferson playing New Jeopardy again? <laughs> no, more incredible. Bud had a girl here. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Al, I thought we agreed not to make fun of him to his face. <laughs> now, good night, honey. And don't worry. One day it won't be just a cruel joke. <laughs> <laughs> Does no one in this house see my sex appeal? I mean, I see it. These people must be crazy. Well, luckily, I have a girl who loves me now. By the way, Dad, I need 60 bucks to take her to a concert, which is gonna go with someone she finds genuinely attractive. <laughs> I hate that background, like, yeah, clapping yeah, and yeah, laughing. Yeah, it does yeah, my head yeah. in. Do you know the funny Studio thing audience. is? That Christina, Christina Applegate is the same age as me now. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, why are they, like, clapping? I don't get it. I think it's just it's the thing that... Too sex like appeal, a live, that's what it is. Like yeah, a live yeah. audience type hey, thing. have I told you how much I loved you? <laughs> how much, Kelly? A whole lot. <laughs> no, I mean, how much money do you want? That's what I was talking about, a whole lot. <laughs> Dad, I need this money so bad. Our modeling school is going on this really important field trip to the old model's home <laughs> to visit Renee. She was the first model who only had one name. I mean, since Renee, models from Amon to Cheryl Teagues have had only one name. <laughs> Forget it, Kel. My dad works hard for his money, and I say we use it only for necessities. He's gonna give it to me so I can get me some, aren't you, Dad? <laughs> Both my kids have legitimate requests, so uh, maybe I shall solve this as the oh-so-wise Solomon would. I shall keep my money and go to the nudie bar tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so it shall be written, so it shall be danced. <laughs> Part the seas of uselessness. <laughs> I must go sleep with the red plague. <laughs> if anybody wants me, I'll be upstairs dead by my own hand. <laughs> I was saving this until you were really low. What? Coppola's daughter wants to have tea? Do you want to spend your birthday atop a dying horse while a clown squirts you with seltzer and your mom takes pictures? No, Dad. Then shut up and get over here. <laughs> You're going to do what every male Bundy does when he reaches the age of 18. Aren't we doing that right now, well, Dad? Shut up. <laughs> no! Tonight I'm, uh... I'm taking you to the nudie bar. <laughs> oh, Dad! <laughs> My father took me just as his father, Jebediah Bundy, took him. <laughs> Seems that throughout history, all male Bundys and looking at hooters that don't belong to them go hand in hand. <laughs> I knew you loved me. There's <laughs> <laughs> the nudie bar. Where the music stinks and they water the drinks, the nudie bar. Where the girlies dance in their underpants, the nudie bar. Where you see their butt and their trap stays shut. <laughs> At the nudie bar. Shh, here come the women, son. Now remember, this is our secret. Do not give them a clue, okay? <laughs> honk, honk. <laughs> 64 bottles of beer on the wall. 64 bottles of beer. One of them bottles. You stink, Al. Why isn't Kelly pushing? Drop dead, you little duty. Shut up, Melania. Now, this is Bundy Sunday Fun Day. I'll not have you ruin it for me. Pumpkin, you put the car in park, honey. Oh, I already did that before you started pushing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. 
I'm fine. <laughs> Come on, Al. Now look, when this car ran out of gas, you promised that if we helped you push, you'd let us in on this big surprise that you have for us. So what is it, Al? Tell us. Are you dying? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but if you were the least bit observant, you'd see what the surprise is. Oh my God! I see it! I see it! Oh, Al, can this be true? Tis. <laughs> well, sir. After years of living like paupers, the Bundys are gonna do what the Rockefellers are doing. We're gonna get our gas today from the full serve pump. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? I was gonna. I was gonna say. Do you know what it is? Nah. It's where they fill up for you. You stay in the car and they fill a pump your gas for you. Oh really? Yeah. When we lived in New Jersey, it's all full serve. Yeah, you don't have a choice. You don't have a choice. Do no. What? You can't fill up yourself in New Jersey. That's mad. That full serve. Which is great when it's. Sticking well, I mean, to I guess because it is easy to just rob it, isn't it? Like you could easily just go to a gas station, fill up your car, and drive off. Well, you can't. Yeah, you get you have to put your credit card in before you. Give you know. No, you that's just that certain gas station that you use. Yeah, but you won't get far because it's all cameras everywhere. Yeah. Now oh, you hear about all the time, people get yeah. You won't get far. I would get far. You get to the motorway and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no what do you think he's going to be on my tail straight from the off? They no are. chance. But onto it. But that's what full service anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, I feel like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the king of surprises? Daddy. <laughs> Now, who wants to be the one to honk the horn to summon the attendant? Oh, I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. All right, now, now, how does a father choose? <laughs> Let the boy do it. <laughs> Brilliant, right? Yeah. It's just class. The whole show was class, wasn't it? Yeah. I always forget, like, it was years ago when we used to watch it, but it was like, that was again, that was another one part of our staple, like, TV yeah, watching. Yeah, but the thing is, it's, it wasn't that long ago, but it seemed, when you watch it back, it yeah. seems so old. No, it was a long time ago. <laughs> I think we used to watch it mid-90s, right? You think so? Yeah, mid to late 90s, I think we mm, started watching yeah, it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe before, don't know. Yeah. Just let us know when it was from, or Google it. I think, it I first think came the out. 80s it came yeah. out, because really she's... Not. Like, say, she's my age, and mm. on there, she's probably about 15, 16, isn't she? I don't know. don't know how old they were, but it was very funny. I know that. Yeah, class awesome. class show. And uh, Ed O'Neill's just a top actor. He's yeah, great he in Modern Family now. Love it. Yeah. yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you on the next one. Cheers. Bye. Cheers.